Hey guys, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. I just cannot stop with these budget Jackson guitars. These things are just too good. This one here is a Jackson JS32TQ DKA in transparent blue. You can find a ton of these JS32 series guitars on the used market. I just bought this one used for 175 bucks. And the amount of shred guitar that you get for your money is just nuts. I think that if you're looking for a budget shred guitar, and especially if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out and you want a very simple but great guitar that you can shred on, I think this is the one you want. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so like I said, I just cannot stop with the JS32 series from Jackson. I have had a lot of these guitars. I've talked about them a lot. You guys probably recognize my JS32 Rhodes V that I've been doing some upgrades on. This is an awesome metal guitar. And yeah, this one I got a really good deal on too. Again, I bought it used, 220 bucks for this guitar and only 175 for this one. Now, I, I should point out, these guitars, when they're brand new, the most you're gonna pay for them is like 350, right around there, so they're not expensive when they're new, so it's not uncommon to find really good deals on them on the used market. This one, of course, is the classic Randy Rhodes style V. This one they call the DKA, so it's the dinky body, like the DK body. Uh, and the A just means they call it, you know, the DK or the Dinky Arch Top. And the model designation on this one is JS32TQ. So the T means it's the non Floyd Rose version or the string through for T. And the Q means it's got the quilt top. So the general specs of this guitar, real quick, it's a poplar body. It's got a quilt maple veneer on it. It's got a maple neck, 24 frets. It's an amaranth fretboard. I like saying Amaranth. The fretboard is amaranth. Perhaps you can get a case for the guitar made from a rich Carindian layer. Anyway, it's got the Jackson generic hardware, you know, the tuners and the Jackson humbucker uh, pickups, of course. It's got a three-way toggle switch, single volume, single tone, super simple controls. To me, the real highlight of this guitar and really all of the JS32 series guitars from Jackson is the neck. They call this the Jackson Speed Neck. It's got the compound radius, so it goes from 12 inch radius down here to a 16 inch radius, so it flattens out as you get higher up the neck. It has a satin finish on the back of the neck, nice extra jumbo frets, and pretty much all of these like JS series guitars, despite being very budget friendly instruments, I mean the frets are usually done really well, and, and this guitar is no exception. Now the reason that this guitar is so great, especially for a beginner guitar player, is that it does not have the Floyd Rose trim on it. When you have a less expensive guitar with a Floyd Rose style trim on it, usually those cheaper trims, they just don't work very well. You know, they will stay in tune, but they're kind of hard to get in tune. Sometimes the bar kind of makes a clanking noise. You know, the fine tuners can be really rough and that kind of stuff. Um, there's a problem in particular I have on the, on the Rhodes V uh, with the original nut where the, when you clamp it down, it twists a little bit and that pulls the guitar out of tune. So after you get it in tune, you clamp it down, then you have to retune it to compensate for that. And also, even when you have a really nice expensive Floyd Rose, uh, still, you know, if you break a string, that causes a lot of problems. It throws the whole guitar out of tune. If you want to change string gauges or change tunings, then you have to adjust the spring tension on the back of the tremolo, that kind of stuff. So for a beginner guitarist, that stuff can just really be a hassle and, and sometimes even be overwhelming to the point where it just takes away the motivation of wanting to play the guitar anymore. So a guitar like this that is just dead simple, but still a guitar that you can absolutely shred on, this is perfect for the sort of, you know, like aspiring shredder or aspiring metal guitarist because there's nothing that's a hassle about it, nothing that's going to get in your way, and it's affordable and even looks cool. And guys, don't get me wrong, even though I'm recommending this guitar for a beginner and these are very affordable guitars, they're not only for beginners. I mean, I've been playing a few years and I love this guitar and I, I find myself reaching for this guitar and picking it up you know, when I'm going to do some quick practicing or something like that. And it, it just, it's a fun guitar to play and it plays great. 
Speaking of playing, I will go ahead and plug this in and give you guys some more sound samples uh, so you can hear what the guitar sounds like. And I'll talk a little bit more about some things uh, on the guitar. And, you know, if you did want to upgrade it, what would you upgrade on this guitar? That kind of thing. Now, real quick, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool, affordable guitars, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get this Jackson JS32 TQ plugged in and see if it shreds. <laughs> Okay guys, so again, I bought this guitar used. It's in great condition. I got it for 175 bucks. Now that's a really good deal, but it is not uncommon to find these guitars under $200 or right around there. Now when it's brand new, it's only 300 bucks. So even if you had to shell out, you know, a full price for it, right? It's still a really good price for one of these guitars. Now they actually have a lot of variety in the different models of these. Uh, this is the T model, the TQ model, right, with no tremolo. Uh, they have a lot of these guitars in different colors. They've got like a green burst that looks really cool, uh, an amber burst. Um, that They do have the tremolos. They've got one version uh, that comes in either blue or red, and it has a maple fretboard with black inlays. That looks really cool. Then they have some standard gloss black colors and things like that, and they all cost around the same, around 300 to 350 bucks. Now, let's say you got this guitar like I did, and let's say you've played it for a while and maybe you want to upgrade a few things on it. Uh, the guitar is very simple, so what could you upgrade? Um, the two things that jump out to me is the pickups and the tuners. Okay, now the Jackson pickups, uh, they actually sound pretty good, and in particular, they have a really, uh, really good high end. So hitting high notes, they really jump out nicely and you can get some good harmonics on them. I think where they're lacking is, uh, you know, for one, they don't really have their own character. There's nothing that kind of distinguishes these pickups from any other pickups. And also, I think, you know, for my taste, my tonal taste, uh, I like a little bit more of a uh, punchier mid-range. So you might, you know, if your tastes are different, you might want to consider upgrading the pickups. The other thing is with the tuners here. Now these tuners are not bad. Now these tuners are not bad. They do hold the tune fine once you get it in tune. But when you're tuning it, especially if you, if you reverse the direction of the tuner, you guys know what I mean? Like you tune it like you're coming up, you're, you're flat and you're tuning it up and you go, oh, you go a little, a little too far past, right? And go sharp and you have to back it down again. You have to kind of back it way down 
in order to get the tension on the tuner right. So there's sometimes a little bit of play in these tuners and that's, that's not really that good. So yeah, you could certainly upgrade the tuners. But other than that, I mean, yeah, the neck is so nice on this thing. Um, you know, maybe you could do the, uh, you know, the electronics too, but I mean, I haven't had any problems with these pots or switches or anything like that. So I'm trying to think now how many of these JS series Jacksons I've had. I've got this one. I've got the Rhodes. At one point I had a Kelly. Um, I had another dinky a while back, a black one with a maple fretboard a few years ago uh, with the Floyd, which I ended up swapping out the bridge in that one. I think that's it. So I think I've had four of the JS series Jacksons. And I mean, who knows? I might end up you know, even getting another one, maybe a warrior or something like that. That'd be really cool. Anyway, killer guitars for the money. I, honestly, I kind of think I should stop making these videos. I'm going to like ruin the market, right? Because I still want to buy these. I don't want the prices to go up. Um, hopefully they won't. Anyway, but yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. Well, let me know what you think of this guitar in the comment section below. If there's anybody out there, you know, who enjoys these uh, budget Jackson guitars as much as I do, I would love to hear from you. Favorite models, anything like that. I'll put links for all this stuff in the video description below. I'll put a link for where you can get one of these new. Um, you know, if I can find any good used listings, I'll put that down there as well. And I will also have links for my merch, and my instructional materials, and social media, and also the amplifier that I was using in the demo, which is the Fender GTX 100. Okay, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.